Don't need that shoot me, bitch. Uh. Oh, fuck. Fuck's sake. No. No. Oh. What? It's. Oh. Uh. I fucking hate these things. Let's get some distance between us. Oh, fuck's sake. No. No. No, game. Are you shitting me? This is the most unfun thing I've ever seen. Fuck you, I can't... Uh, can I walk? No? Walking would be preferable. Just... just... Uh, <laughs> fuck that! No, I don't... <laughs> I did so not want to fight that! It. Kill the Reaper! Kill us out of a bit! Make it that! I'll take care of the cure, she says. Ow! What were we doing? sure why, but all these cutscenes always feel like they have a bit of an unclean look to them. Alright, let's go. You all good, Morden? Morden, is the cure ready? Yes, loaded for dispersal in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for E, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunate. We'll stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Damn! Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's got to be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No. No other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosions likely to be problematic. Morton, no. Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure, my responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Damn it. Is that the entire game? Everyone's just gonna keep dying.
The characters have such a clean look about them. But the rest just doesn't. A long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place. His own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him. Right over there. That's what the genophage reduced us to. Animals. But you change that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. Yeah, we saved an entire race. And all it cost us was the best doctor there ever was. He wouldn't have had it any other way. But I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> but you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. <laughs> Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians Quite the out journey it was. Their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment. <laughs> the blinking just Let's does not work on this character. Pack it. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying, it can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut eye. Besides, I know where you sleep. We'll wake you if anything comes up. If you insist. You were there with me. You need to go bed too. Same bed, actually. Oh, great. Oh, what's up, kids? How's it going? Oh. That one kid is really gonna haunt us through the entire game. What is this supposed to tell me? Or is it just ooh spooky nightmare sequence? What happens if I just walk in the wrong direction for an hour?
Yeah, we couldn't save that one kid. And what, he's a stand-in for all of humanity? We're gonna save humanity. At least what's left of it. As good as possible. open Shepherd come on Liara need to hear all right Whoop. is this a bad time thinking of some friends who weren't around thanks to this war that's thanks to the Reapers not you are you thinking about anyone in particular Caden back on Vermeer he died buying us time to defeat Sovereign. Seeing what we're up against now, he might think his sacrifice was in vain. You know Caden would never think that. Yeah. That's one more reason I miss him. Didn't you have something for me? The Salarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. She called the comm room. The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. God damn it. <laughs> Garrus was supposed to work now. Commander. Can I help you, Counselor? Shepard, I want you to understand that I owe my position to you, and it's not something that I take lightly. Were it not for you, that weak minded Counselor Valorn would still be alive, leading the Salarians down the sewage pipe. But now I'm forced to champion a cure for the Genophage. It's like saying we need a hurricane to put out a wildfire. Counselor, Krogan are about to die in droves, so your people don't have to. That's your message. Human statesmanship at its finest. Speaking of, I need to talk to you about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. He's moving vast sums of money. We need oh. to talk about where it's going. From what I can tell, you won't like the news. Come see me next time you're on the Citadel. Ishil out. Huh. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Bitcoin. Hackett, what up? Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Good, good talk. What's this? War assets. Oh shit, we have a decent military strength now. Nice. But we just keep dropping. Even though that in game it goes up. I don't understand. Alright, let's see what new things we have. Emails? Yeah, your regrettable decision. <laughs> oh, I have long term consequences. Ooh, you're disappointed. The Reaper threat has passed? Do you know how unlikely it is currently that the Reaper threat will pass? Ah, uh, well, screw you, I don't give a shit. Ah, uh, Erna Rex, making babies. It'll be fun. Cool. You really came through. We'll have to save the turrets now. <laughs> great, great letter. Thanks. Commander Shepard is the time how you fly off with one of our best generals will benefit our fight against Reapers. However, is now a watch Turin and Croton fight work. Must admit, I'm impressed. Cool. ANN alert. Reaper of Collins from Ferris of Mind to defense against arriving Reaper forces. Cool, cool. And thank you, Jessica Farm. You saved my life on Benning. Ah. See, that makes me feel good. Saving, saving people. Alright, let's see what we got. Journal. Anything, pre priority to Citadel. 
Let's see, we have fighter base. Damn it, I thought those were just gonna be upgrades I can... Oh, we have new armor as well, alright. Time to make a quick sweep and then decide what we're doing. So we really have nothing to upgrade here? Last game I, f I feel like we've constantly had things in here. Any sign of life? Destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be Damn completely it. inert, Doctor. Come on. Huh? Where's Garrus? Where's the best uh, person in the game? Not here. I don't think anything of too importance is here. Let's check on weapons, I guess. So we got a new armor. I th I th it said. Death mask. Gives me more melee damage. Yeah, I really don't need that. These two are exactly the same, huh? Alright. A little doggy. Let's see what else. We have things to buy here, I think. Buy medical upgrades. Buy shotguns. Buy weapons. Alright, what we got? Nothing I'm really interested in. Light soldiers. Seem dead. Sure. Is that about the the guy that on the Citadel that really wanted that? All right, capacity. I barely use this. What else we got? Weapon upgrades. Oh, I should really memorize the weapons I'm actually using. Oh hell yeah, I would upgrade this. So gun I use most. The other ones I haven't quite cemented yet. What's this? Weapon bench. Oh that's just what I actually can look at. Alright, that's good for a while. Is Garrus just really not on the shell anymore? Oh yes. Here on the bridge. Why is he with Joker? Interesting, interesting. Let's see what that's about. What up, guys? All right, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turia gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans <laughs> does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. Why does the <laughs> What the fuck is happening? With brittle bone disease. You're, you're shitting me. The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about training the Turian <laughs> with the rockets one side of the face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> what the fuck are you people doing? 
Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. I'm glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel, and then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show onto Chunka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his Reeve took over. That could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Solarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Okay then. All right, I guess now decision-making time again. What? What? What are we gonna do?